Hey y'all, welcome back. It's Natalie Higby here. And, and Christian Placencia. And we thank you guys for joining us for our at home bodyweight workout series. Hope you guys are feeling well. Let's get right into today's warm up. Okay. Today's warm up is going to start with our big global hip circles. So we'll go soft bend in the knees. We're pushing our hips out and around. Okay. Now follow Christian here. Just going to give you guys a heads up that again, today is a cool body workout, okay? We have a cool skill work. This is a body weight movement that we do often. It's challenging, but we know you guys can get it, okay? Continue to move through these big hip circles for about one to two more reps. Again, soft bend in the knees, driving those hips all the way out and around. Excellent job. Let's take ourselves down to the ground. So we're going hands and knees here for some cat cows. So we'll go hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and we'll start this extension and flexion of the spine. Take your time, use your breath. Again, kind of tune in your breath to your movement here. Check in with how your body is feeling. Are you feeling really sore today? Are you feeling great? You have high energy. Remember that you can always adjust your workouts based on how you feel in your warm up. okay? Beautiful job. Again, we've got these cat cows. Let's just grab two more reps. Awesome. After we do the cat cows, we're going into a little T-spine rotation. So we're going to thread one arm through the opposite arm and then take that same hand up towards the sky. Other side, we'll reach through, we'll come back and we'll reach up. Okay, so you're pushing your knees into the floor and you're pushing that front hand into the ground. The other arm again is threading through and then reaching up towards the sky. Now you'll see that Christian is allowing his eyes to follow his fingertips. Go ahead and try the same thing there. And then try not to round out your spine, but keep your spine long. Keep your neck long. Beautiful job. Let's go about one more time on each side just to even that out. Good work. Awesome. Beautiful. Once you finish those up, we'll go standing again. Now we have our standing hip circles. This is one where you might challenge your balance. So if you need to hold on to something nearby, go for it. We're going to take our foot out in front. Beautiful. So we're going to lock out the leg, bring the leg to the side, rotate from that hip, turning internally, and then around. So you're going to come up, out, and back. Good. Now we're going to try to stay as tall as possible. You'll notice like a little bit of shifting, that's okay. But if you're falling to the side, then maybe just lower your leg a little bit, okay? Don't worry about how high your leg is. We're grabbing five circles on one side before we move to the next. So again, we lock out the leg, we come to the side. We continue that rotation all the way back behind. Beautiful job. Again, working on the single leg stability and then really challenging this hip joint right here of the leg that is locked out. Good. Try to pull your toes back towards your face. Kick through your heel. Keep breathing. Stay tall. Excellent job. How's that feel? Feels great. Awesome. That's a good one. All right, y'all. We're going into our high knees next. Okay, so we're going to kick it up a notch here. We're going for 30 seconds in three two, one, I'm gonna jump in now. And again, we're going light on the toes. We've been doing these high knees. Remember, you can always start slow, and then as you feel comfortable, start to pick up your pace. Good job, halfway. Great job, guys, keep it up, y'all. Continue to breathe. Less than 10 seconds, y'all. Five, four, three, two, one, good work, shake that out. We've got our butt kicks going in three, two, one. Here we go, again, just bringing those heels to our bottom and then start to pick up that pace. Awesome job. Again, I can't wait to get into the skill of the day and this workout I think you guys will enjoy. Hopefully your bodies are feeling good today, feeling refreshed. Keep going for what, 10 more seconds, we got this. 10 more seconds. Nice shot. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Frankenstein's are next. Mm -hmm. Hitting the hamstrings. Three, two, one. Here we go. All right. Again, hopefully feeling like these hamstrings are getting a little more loose. We're going to really add this upper body rotation today. So rather than just reaching here, rotate from the torso. There you go. So you're actually looking left to right. 10 more seconds. Nice job. Great job, guys. Here we go, girls. Here we go, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Woo! Here we go. Awesome job. Okay. Now, 
we're going to use our basketball on these next few drills. Like usual, you can use any tool that you have. Use your imagination. Either way works, okay? So I'm going to have Christian demo here for this first move. It's a single leg squat, okay? So will you show them one rep? Beautiful. Now, don't worry about how low you go. Just control this motion. And if you feel comfortable, obviously, you can go low. So you'll see he kicks his foot forward and then kicks his leg back, okay? Will you turn to the side for them? Just one more time. Forward and back. Okay, now we're going to move through it. 20 seconds on each side. I'm going to continue to kind of cue here, okay? Ready? Going in three, two, one. Here we go. So again, start nice and easy. What I want you to notice is that Christian's foot stays flat the whole time. So we do want to make sure that our toes and our heels are pressing into the floor. Nicely done. Kind of loading up the backside a little bit more and then loading up the quad a little bit more. Just alternating back and forth. Beautiful job. Let's switch up legs. So again, we switch up sides. Now you might notice a difference from right to left. That's perfectly normal. Most of us have you know, one side that is a little more mobile, one side that is, that is a little more strong. But that's why we like to do this single leg work so that we can work on our weakness and continue to make that other leg strong. Beautiful, relax. <laughs> nice job. All right, y'all, then we're going with a single leg hinge and a twist. So we've been working on this hinge motion, right, where we have a soft bend in our knee. We allow the chest to fall forward. This one's really challenging the balance here. You'll see Christian's getting this rotation right to left, coming back to the center and standing. So go ahead and jump in with him. I'm going to start your time in three, two, one. Here we go. Again, 20 seconds on each side. We go single leg hinge with a slight rotation inward and outward. Now, don't worry about how far you rotate. Again, just go as far as you feel control with. Beautiful. 10 more seconds. Nice job. Yeah, it's perfectly okay to use that back leg, kind of come down to the ground if you need to reset. Three, yeah. two, one. One, let's try it on the other side. Let's check this balance. So again, we hinge, we rotate. Now you'll notice as Christian's rotating inward here, away from the planted foot, his hips actually do open. That's perfectly okay on these. Nicely done. A couple more reps. Good, about 10 more seconds, y'all. Keep breathing, keep working on this hinge with a rotation. This is a very challenging movement, so don't worry if you're kind of all over the place. That's where we want to be. We want to be getting better by challenging ourselves. Three, two, one. Excellent job. Next up, we have our lateral lunges, okay? Now, on these lateral lunges, we'll be moving for 40 seconds. There you go. You can see. Three, two, one. Let's move together. That We are stepping to the side, stepping back to the middle. Stepping to the side, and then back to the middle. Now, Christian is adding this reach with the basketball. You could go overhead. You could keep the ball at your chest. Yes, you can switch this up to get that upper body nice and engaged. I like it. Wrapping up the ball. Continue to move, continue to breathe. You're about halfway there. Nicely done. Again, sinking into that one side, making sure that our heels are staying flat. We're keeping a proud chest on these. Ten more seconds. Keep breathing, keep moving. Nice job, y'all. Almost there. There you go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Shake that off. We're almost done. Next up, we have an overhead squat. Okay, so go ahead and find your squat position. We're going to try to challenge ourselves by reaching the ball overhead as we squat. Woo. Now, if you're feeling really tight, this might be challenging. So just do your best here. Three, two, one. We have 40 seconds. So again, feet are staying flat. Knees are in line with the toes. The belly is tight. We're reaching that ball overhead. Nice, good, nice and strong. Good, work to keep your eyes up. How are you feeling, nice and warm? Feel warm, oh yeah. <laughs> Hopefully your body is feeling much more warm. We're halfway there, 20 more seconds, last 20, y'all. Nicely done, getting us nice and prepped for these front kick throughs that we have today. There you go, 10 more seconds. Nice job, y'all, keep working, keep breathing. Coming up at our last five, four, three, two, one and relax. Good work. Awesome job. Oh yeah. I feel warm. Awesome work, Natalie. Awesome job back at home. Again, hopefully our hips are feeling good. The upper body is starting to kind of get involved, especially after some of that lifting. Mm -hmm. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over a movement, our skill of the day, 
which is going to be something that's going to challenge not only our mobility, but our hip strength as well. Okay. Now we're going to try this out here together as a demo. And then you guys will go ahead and get these reps in either keeping up with Natalie's pace or sticking to your own pace. Okay. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> we're going to start in a high plank. So Natalie's going to be almost like in a push up position. Yep. Now from this push up position, Natalie's going to step her left foot outside of her left hand. So this is a mountain climber. We've done this one here before. Now, you're going to pick up the same side hand as the arm that's closest to your bent knee. Then from there, your back leg now is going to come all the way out in front of you to kick and lock out that leg. No hip on the ground. Now from there, Nat's going to pull all the way back into that mountain climber. And then from the mountain climber, she's going to put her leg back behind her where we started in a high plank. We'll do one more demo rep. Right leg goes outside your right hand pick up that right hand, and then make room for the back leg to kick on through. Now, I'm gonna have Natalie do one more here on her left side. Now, guys, if you're feeling as if it's really tight here, okay, if you feel like you have a hard time bringing your back leg through, go ahead and put this foot wider and put your opposite hand a little bit wider. Now, there's more space out in front of you to bring that leg on in, okay? Great job, Natalie, okay? Everyone back at home, we have eight times on each leg Let's get into it. Natalie, go ahead and keep on moving. I, I'm going to jump in with you guys, okay? Cool. We got eight times on each leg. Mountain climber, pick up the hand, kick on through. Again, mountain climber to high plank. Mountain climber, pick up the same side hand, kick on through. Again, from mountain climber, high plank. And we're just going to continue to alternate here, guys. Again, it's very important, y'all, getting into these deep ranges of motion with our hip, our knee, and our ankle. And then making sure that our upper body can work with our lower body. That's all sports. It doesn't matter if you're basketball, football, baseball, soccer, any type of sport. Your body requires that you can coordinate your upper and lower body. Mm -hmm. More importantly is really being able to use your core, use your hips to work through. Once you guys finish up eight times on each side, shake that off for a little bit. We have that for one more round. We really want to make sure that you guys understand this movement because in today's workout, we're throwing our skill of the day into the workout. So again, really make sure you feel comfortable here. Was that eight reps on each side right there for you, Natalie? Perfect. We're going to do that again. One more round, eight times on each leg, and then we'll start it on up. Sounds good, everybody? Again, I'm in my high plank, into that mountain climber, pick up that same side hand. Mountain climber. Pick up that same side hand. And as you start to get more comfortable, then of course, start to pick up your pace here a little bit. Because in today's workout, it's all about pace. If you can move a little bit quicker, you're probably gonna finish a little bit more rounds. If you finish more rounds, then you'll probably be closer and closer to an MVP level. That's right, today, we got three different levels. I'll be going over that once I finish up my eight reps here. Great job, Natalie. Continue to breathe. And my parents out there, if this is taking you back to the day, maybe you were once a break dancer. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to do. Let's keep deepening our movement library as we continue to get stronger and more mobile and more in shape. Great job, Nat. Way to continue to breathe. Keep on moving. Last one here. Beautiful. Great job. Awesome job, Nat. Ooh, those are challenging. Oh yeah, really challenging. Oh. And if you feel as if, man, I'm really, really like fatigued, that was challenging. Good. These are things that we want to introduce to our body so that we can continue to grow every single day. Now today, guys, we have an AMRAP. That means as many rounds as possible in 12 minutes. We have a total of five different movements that we're going to do back to back to back. You guys get to decide when the rest. Okay, so you could really keep moving for the full 12 minutes and not take one rest period. Yep. Okay, now if you finish up four rounds, you're at the rookie level. Five, all star, six or more, you're at an MVP level, you're rocking. Okay, now here's what we're gonna do Nat is gonna move with you guys, okay, for the first round, and then I'm gonna jump in right after that. I just wanna make sure everyone understands it. Now, try and keep up with Natalie's pace because when Natalie starts, I'm going to put that timer on for 12 minutes. Again, working as many rounds as possible in 12 minutes. Let's go onto the ground 
This is where movement number one is going to be. Okay? Let's get it. Okay. Now, today everything will be for reps. We're going to go for our first movement, five on each side here. Okay. We have a high plank, so that's going to be a high plank push-up position. And then what we're going to do is lift our arm and opposite leg off the ground for a one 1,000 and then down. And then next leg and arm, one 1,000 and then down. Again, back to the first, one 1,000 down. Guys, keep on moving. We have five on each side. If picking up your arm and foot at the same time is too hard, then maybe just start with an arm. Or maybe just start with your leg. And you can just do five on each leg instead of doing arm and leg. Now, once Natalie and you guys finish up five reps here, we're gonna stand on up and we're gonna get into our lateral skiers, 10 on each leg. So Natalie's gonna face you guys to begin with. We're going on one leg and we're trying to cover as much distance as we can. You can see here, again, Natalie and you guys have 10 reps on each leg. So that's 20 total. Again, continue to breathe. You can see as Natalie's landing, she's got a soft bend in her knee making sure that her chest is facing down so that our hip could push back. Remember, more hip, less knees. We like that. 18, 19, and then onto the ground, we have a high plank. We just did this one, our front kick through. We just did this in the skill of the day. Now we're doing five reps on each side. Remember, high plank, mountain climber, pick up that same side hand, and then bring that back leg through. Again, guys, we got five on each side here. Continue to breathe, continue to move. Again, we only have this workout here for 12 minutes today. The timer is already on, so we're working right here. Great job, Natalie. Once you guys finish up, five on each side, we'll stand up, and we have 10 total on each side. So really 20 total, I'm sorry. 10 on each side of our lateral shuffles. So again, lateral shuffles, just like a defensive slide. I'm gonna have Natalie face you guys first. We got 10 times on each side here. Here we go, Nat. Lateral shuffle, that's one. And that's two, you got 20 total. Guys, don't worry if you don't have a lot of space. We don't have a lot of space right here. Okay, so work with what you got. You don't need a lot of room. Just be very mindful when Natalie's changing direction here, she's never allowing her chest and her, her whole upper body to fold over to that side. Every time she stops and changes direction, her chest is inside of that planting leg. Beautiful work, Natalie. 19, last one here. And then the last thing we have is on the ground, on our booty cheeks, mm -hmm. we have a tripod extension. So both feet flat, keep one arm on the ground, and then bring the hips up into a bridge. We have five times on each side. And again, guys, this right here, once Natalie finishes up, once you finish up this movement, that's one round. You've already done one round. We're gonna go through all of that again. Again, when Natalie finishes, she'll stay on the ground. You guys will stay on the ground. We'll be in a high plank. You're either just lifting your legs or you're lifting your opposite arm and leg. Regardless of which one you're doing, you got five on each side. I'm gonna jump in with you guys right here. Here we go. All right. One, 1,000. One one thousand. How are we on one, time? One thousand. We're about three minutes down. We're coming up to three minutes of activity here, guys. We got about nine more minutes to go. Here we go. Awesome work. Once you finish up these high plank contra lifts, then we're gonna stand up and we'll go into our lateral skiers. So oh, one yeah. leg, one, two. We have ten, ten on each leg. So a total of twenty. You can see we're using our hands. We're allowing our hips to break back every time we land. Almost there, you got 18, 19, and then once we finish up here, we're onto the ground, just like our skill of the day. Front kick through, mountain climber. Kick up the hand, kick on through. Here we go, mountain climber. Pick up the hand, kick on through. Here we go, mountain, kick, plank, mountain, kick. Five on each side, guys. Hopefully you took the skill of the day serious. <laughs> now your body understands the movement and what we need to get done. Once you finish up here, then next we're gonna stand on up and go right into our lateral shuffles 10 <laughs> times on each leg. Here we go. Here we go, ready? Yep. Use what you've got. 
make the best of it. Hundred percent. After that, guys, five on each arm here. Tripod. One, two, three. See, some of you guys doing this outside, doing it where you can. Again, sunlight is always great. If you could go outside, get some sunlight while you work out, we highly recommend that. But again, we don't need too much space. Part of the reason we wanted to bring you guys this body weight workout series is to show you that your body is one of the best tools you have. Your body and your breath. Guys, once we finish up there, go right back to the top. High plank. Pick up an arm, pick up a leg, or to make it really hard, pick up your opposite arm and foot. We got five on each side. Oh man, work. Right after that, lateral skiers. Ten on each side. Nice shot. There you go, and you can see, we're starting to pick up our pace here a little bit. That's okay if your pace isn't exactly lined up with our pace. Everybody is gonna have a different motor. Everyone's gonna be able to go for a different period. Everyone's gonna take breaks whenever their body needs it, okay? So listen to your body. Whew, I'm almost going crazy. <laughs> I got our skill of the day, front kick through. Here we go, mountain climber. Whew, kick through, plank. Mountain climber, take on This is one of those movements that is extremely challenging if you go fast, but also extremely oh, challenging yeah. if you go slow. Oh yeah, Natalie is not lying. So there's not a right or a wrong. Just try to control. Nice job. Oh yeah. Great keep job, man. Keep breathing, Nat. keep breathing. Once we keep get moving. there, then we got a lot of shuffles, y'all. Like Natalie said, we don't need a lot of space. We can work from a short space, and that's okay. Let's just be mindful of our chest and our hips every time. Not here, right? Hips back, chest down. And if I'm facing y'all, we don't want to stop with our chest going this way before we press in the opposite direction. Keep that chest inside that planted leg. Great job, Nat. Once we finish up here, guys, then we get our tripods on the ground. Nice and toasty Ooh. today. Oh, yeah. Guys, keep it going. Regardless of what round you're on, you get four rounds done. Rookie, five all-star, six MVP. We only got four more minutes left, guys. Ooh. We only got four minutes left. Here we go. Here we go, guys. Nice job. We got five on each side here. All right, back to the top. Great job, Matt. Me too. Is this round four for you, girl? Yes. Or three? Four? Uh, Perfect. Four. Four. Perfect. One, two. Again, guys, we cannot continue to reiterate this enough of how important it is. Everybody has a different level. Everybody's going to be working at a different pace. That's okay. This drill here, even if you have a hard time just bringing one leg up yeah. or one arm up, then just go from your knees. Nothing wrong with trying to keep that stability there from your knees, okay? Why? Right, go take your time too when you lift. Don't be quick to put it down. Hold it up there. Hold it for a second. Make your body feel the amount of control Woo! that you need here. You too. Keep working, y'all. If you need to roll out your wrists, if you've got this stuff on the ground, like front kick throughs, high planks, feel free to roll out your wrists, grab a sip of water, and then let's get back into it when you're ready. Nice job. Woo, great job, Natalie. Awesome work. Right back to the skill of the day. Hmm. There you go, guys. We're almost done, y'all. We're almost done. We're coming up closer to that two minute mark. Here we go. About two minutes left, y'all. This is where it all counts. Mm -hmm. When you're tired, at the end of the game, whew, 
at the end of that workout, can you finish strong all the way through? Got my shuffles. And as you get tired, continue to focus on the quality of movement. Don't let your mind come out of it. Stay present, stay focused. Here we go. That's why it's great to have a partner here with you. With me. She's challenging me. I would want to take a break if Natalie wasn't here. But that's why I got somebody. That's Woo! why we're here with you guys on the video to help keep you accountable. Let's keep breathing. Let's keep working, guys. Last minute. Last 60 seconds. Here we go. We're down to the last minute? Yep. Woo! Oh, yeah. Let's get it. Time is flying. Whew. Nice. Again, check in with your breath. Control your breath and control your body. Those are our keys. Come on. Keep breathing, y'all. Nice job. Five on each side here. Great job. And then right back Whew. to that first movement. Our crunch release. Here we go. Try to keep that core tight. Trying not to rotate as we lift. Woo. 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 Oh yeah. Almost Great there. job, Matt. Here we go, guys. Keep it up, y'all. Keep it up. Keep it up, guys. Last 10 seconds. Here we go. Last 10. Here we go. Woo! Come on, Last on. five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Good gracious. Awesome work, Natalie. Guys, great job back at home. Hopefully, you're feeling like we got some good work in here today. Some movements you might have seen. Some of them you might have tried in the past. But again, as we continue to progress, from month to month and day to day, we're always gonna be here to challenge your movement library. We wanna make sure that not only are you staying strong, but that you can stay healthy for years to come. On that note, Natalie's gonna take you through some decompression and stretching to help you stay in the game. Thank you so much, Christian. Awesome job, you guys. Again, grab a sip of water here, towel off for a second, and then let's make our way down to the ground. So what we're gonna do is come on down, walk your hands out wider than shoulder width. So let's go fingers out to the side, hands wide. Let's pull one shoulder down to the ground and look in the opposite direction. So we're looking, pulling, dropping that shoulder down to the floor. Let's take an inhale, exhale. And switch up sides. We'll look the other way, we'll pull, we'll breathe. Inhale, exhale. One more time each way. Again, try to get that shoulder down to the ground. Big inhale, exhale. Last time, other way. Awesome job. Now, let's just stay right here on our knees. We're gonna take one hand out in front of us. Fingers down to the ground. Other hand is going to grab this hand as we pull our shoulder back and down. So we're going to lock out our arm here. Again, hold on nice and tight. Let's try to rotate our elbow pit up towards the ceiling and then inside. Again, it's a slight rotation. This was great for the wrists and the forearms here, maybe even up through your biceps and your shoulders. But again, try not to shrug up. Pull the shoulder back and down. Nice calm breath. Let's do two more reps. Very subtle here. Roll that out. Let's switch up sides. So again, fingers towards the ground. Hold on tight right here, pull your shoulder back and down, rotate elbow pit up and in. Five, four, three, two, one. And our last one here, y'all, staying on the ground here, hands behind us, just allowing these knees to windshield wipers side to side. 
So you can get the knees towards the ground, actually touch the ground if possible, getting that nice stretch here along the front side of your hips. Again, slow breath. See if you can breathe now just in and out through your nose. Final rep. Awesome. All right, y'all. You can go ahead and stand on up. By all means, if you want to stretch a little bit more after this, we highly encourage that. But we want to leave you with our journal prompt for the day. Today, I want you guys to take a moment to think about the qualities of a good leader. Actually, the qualities of a great leader. And I want you to write them down. Again, this can be, you know, your top three. Maybe you list 10 or 15. From there, extra credit would be circling the ones that you already embody or the qualities that you think you portray. Okay, and then challenge yourself to see if you can reach those other qualities. So continue to work towards those. Again, if nothing else, so we're thinking about the qualities of a great leader. We're going to write that down, share that out with our friends and family. We hope you guys had an excellent workout, and we'll see you tomorrow.